Yeah, I had to turn the camera slanted, but let me go ahead and get to the point. The other evening, uh, Sunday evening, I had the uh, privilege and honor, and I call her Thelma uh, from Good Times, but her real name is Bernadette. And um, I had the privilege and honor of being invited over uh, to beautiful Pastor Lori's house. And um, the conversation was so amazing. Like, we talked like we knew each other. She fed into me like we knew each other. Good morning, Maddie. But there was something that she said that, and I think I threw the question out. And I'm going to be honest with you. There was something that she said that has been turning in my spirit. On yesterday, I had the opportunity to have another interview. I'll share the information once it comes out. Um, but I had another opportunity and because of what we talked about at that house, because of what she poured into me, not even knowing who I am, because of the things she spoke to me. And I promise you, one of, she is one of the realest people. I'm serious. Like, I did not expect. I don't know what I thought, to be honest with you. But I'm going to tag her in this post. Um, and I'm going to make sure she sees this. And I'm not doing this for her to see me. I'm doing this because angels are walking around here on this earth. And, you know, we get caught up in, a lot of times in what support we think we have. And we get caught up in what, you know, who we feel like. Good morning, Tori. You, you want to hear this this morning, ma'am. Um, but we get so caught up. Good morning, Tyrese. Thank y'all for hanging with me so I won't be talking to myself. But we get so caught up, I'm telling y'all, in who we think should support us. You know, these folks, let me tell you something. Y'all done confused the mess out of me. And this is going to be true for cert this morning. And then I'm going to get to my point right quick. But y'all done confused the mess out of me. I was talking to that lady. That lady opened up my eyes to some stuff. I'm talking about, and it's probably something I had heard, but it's because of the way she said it and because she has experienced it. See, when you talk to people who has experienced some stuff, when you talk to folks who done been through some stuff, see, then they give you a whole, now I'm talking about like they're anointing, they're anointing from that. That all from that situation that they went through when you know they talking for real. So I said, I try to help people. She said, me too. And she went into explaining. And she said, we try to, you know, you know, be there, supportive or whatever. But I said, I, I, my, my question is this. How come people give you just a little bit like breadcrumbs? How come people just, they really not helping you. They only giving you enough. It's, it's like, you know, they afraid. And this is what they're like, listen <laughs> to me. True feels hurt this morning. She said, most of the people that are doing the same thing you're doing is only going to help you a little bit in a way. Because what they've come to realize or the reason why they connect with you in the first place <coughs> is because there is something great on the inside of you. There is an anointing on your life. There is something there. And see, you don't pay attention to that because you feel like because they're already on a certain level or they're already doing it. and i already made a post about this i promise you but hearing it from somebody who has been out here for years who i watched on tv who i you know like i just i, I don't know why why i thought her life was something else i don't know why but everybody going through something in this world everybody go through challenges and tests and trials it don't make no difference with who you are but the conversation so she said most people not going to receive your gift on the level that it is not because they don't see it because they don't want to they don't want to see that they don't want to know that they don't want you to be doing it that way they're going to give you just enough just you know the breadcrumbs or whatever you got to believe in yourself and i know this stuff but i'm telling you when when, when she tell her story and like you know the way she is, like, sharing this stuff, like, as I'm listening, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to let her tell her own story because I've asked her, can I interview her? And she told me that we could do that. So I'm going to let her tell her own story. I'm not here to tell that. But I'm just telling you what she did for my spirit. And let me translate it. So what she gave to me, so that way when we talk, y'all will hear it. She said, you got to keep on pushing. You don't let people, somebody know, dictate what you do. And I'm translating because we broke it down. You don't let somebody's no translate or dictate to you what you're going to do. 
And just because it doesn't work for somebody else doesn't mean it won't work for you. And stop giving out all your stuff. Stop giving out all your stuff. Yeah, you want to help people, but you keep giving out all your stuff. That's how come some of them are successful because they, they, they'll take from folks. They're going to take stuff. They're going to take stuff and then she said they're so gifted, they'll, you know, fix it up. Make it look like it wasn't even your stuff. And like I said, I'm translating because I'm going to let her use her own words when whatever we talk about. I told her, I said, I don't care what you're talking about. She is true feels hurt. She is one of those true feels hurt people. I got some people walking around here that are just true feels hurt, period. They just, they is, and she is a true feels hurt queen. If I had awards, I would give her an award for a true feels hurt. I'm just telling y'all. Because... And people's people not trying to pacify everything. People not trying to. I, I'm so glad that God sends me angels that speak to my spirit. Like, I don't need y'all sugarcoating nothing for me. I want to be able to swallow. So then, you know, I thought about that thing. I thought about that. I ain't talked to her yesterday. Let me tell you something else. She gave me a telephone number. I thought, you know, because I've been scarred and hurt so much. I said, this lady ain't giving me her real telephone number. This probably number to her company or whatever. But I stood there. I stood there. This is why you got to get help when you have trust issues. Because you don't think that God will line you up with people. You don't think because you've been hurt because you done helped folks. And then they done told you they're going to do something. They don't do the stuff. And then they tell you they're going to help you with this. And they don't help you. You know, they, they don't have to. They don't have to. Uh-uh. They don't have to. That's the part that princes have to live with. They, people don't have to do nothing. What they did was good. The rest of it is between you and Jesus and whatever he wants you to have, you're going to have. And he's going to send people to do whatever it is that you need him to do. But let me tell you, that lady gave me her phone. She said, put your number in here. And look, and I put my number in now because I've been scarred. I didn't put my name. I gave her the phone back. She said, did you put your name? Did you put your name in there? And I'm like, oh. And I'm telling y'all, I'm struggling while I'm standing up here talking to her. And then she said, I'm headed to Colorado, you know, whatever. But I want to keep in touch. I want us to talk. I said, but I want you to do this. And then the Lord spoke to me. He said, you know what? You you have something that she has. You have something that she uh, needs from. And you you and her. She said, and then the Lord told me, try it. <laughs> You have something that she needs. And I'm trying not to, I'm, I got so excited, y'all. I don't want to confuse y'all. The Lord told me, you have something. Like, I need to do something for her and don't worry about it. I'm, you're going to do something for her and don't you worry about it. You ain't doing it. And, and he said, tell her, you're not doing it for looking for her to say nothing, give you no shout out or nothing like that. Because what I'm doing right now is making a divine connection with your spirit. Stop being concerned with the materialistic stuff, what somebody can produce for you, princess. I'm telling you, when that lady got finished with me, this Holy Spirit started speaking to me. See, a lot of times we're doing stuff for people for materialistic return. The Holy Ghost told me on Monday after I talked to the lady, after me, look, after she gave me that phone, you're not connecting with her for her to do something for you, for her to give you a shout out. Stop worrying about what people going to do. Hear me? But stop worrying about what people going to do when you do what it is. God tell you. God say, I'm telling you to do this for me because I'm going to do something in return for you. Because you're going to bless one of my children. You're going to give to one of my children. What you got to stop worrying about is who you gave the thing to. And look at the fact that you're doing it as if you're doing it unto me. Let me tell y'all I got so happy about that thing because I already knew it. But I needed to experience it. See, truth feels hurt is a healing process. See, just because you've been stabbed in the back, you don't want to keep doing what it is he told you to do. But he's saying, you don't understand that stab in the back, baby, was for me. So that I could turn your situation around. So I could work your stuff out. That lie, that lie they told on you, that was for me. Because they lied on me. <laughs> if you look at this week's uh, events, this would be the beginning of the beating. Or whatever. Look, no, it wasn't. it's already taking place. It's in the, yeah, in three days. He got up. And I don't know, like, uh, if it's lining up with the, the actual days, but I, I just always look at Sunday to be the day that he came, he got up. <laughs> so, line it up with the word. But, 
I'm telling you this morning, I want to encourage you. Stop looking at these people waiting on something. So then the Holy Spirit told me, what you have done to others, you will be doing it as if you're doing it unto me. Don't worry about what they did. Don't worry about how they turned it and, and, and took it or stole it and ran with it or twisted it and made it look like. Don't worry about all of that. I know what you did. I'm keeping a record of what you did. I'm keeping a record of your time. People who didn't pay you for stuff. I'm keeping a record of your time. How come they won't acknowledge you? How come they won't give you credit? How come they won't simply share your stuff they see what you're doing, but you're constantly sharing theirs? How come they won't give you acknowledgement, but you're constantly giving them? The Holy Spirit says, stop looking at that. Stop looking at that. Do it with an open heart. Do it with an open mind. Do it with um expectations from me. Don't expect them to. If they do, it's all good. I get so confused when I was getting ready to say a few minutes ago before I got happy. I get so confused because people will be on Facebook talking, 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 talking to me. And then when they see me face to face, they ain't got nothing to say. And I and I, I, I told my husband, I said, this, this, is, this right here is confusing me. And then I promise y'all, as we begin to talk, truth feels hurt. I don't need nobody in my life. Sugar cold, nothing for me. My husband said most of the time, the people that be doing that, that be talking to you online, baby, they are talking about you behind your back. And that's why they can't talk to you in front of the people that they are around because they have been talking bad about you. And that's how come they can get on Facebook and be having a whole conversation with you. But when they see you in public, they have nothing to say. I'm telling y'all, when I tell y'all been having true feels hurt parties with the Holy Ghost. <laughs> How come they won't give you a shout out? How come they all they got to do is zero dollars to share the post? It's zero dollars to like it or love it. It's zero dollars. Zero dollars to support somebody on this social media stuff. And I kept getting confused. But when Bernadette looked at me, she said, you keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> you keep fighting for what you know. You keep running the race that you know you're supposed to be in. You keep, uh, don't fo focus on that. Don't focus on that. What God has for you is for you. What should have your name on it will have your name on it. Even if they twisted it, God is keeping a record of your writing. Keeping a record of your stuff. Apply it to your stuff today. Apply it with your good deeds today. To somebody's good morning, everybody. Apply your stuff today. I'm telling you, I got so confused. I just got so confused. I was saying to myself, how come? But when I tell y'all this morning, Brandy, Brandy. Hear me, girl. <laughs> when I got myself together, the Holy Spirit told me, I'm getting ready to send some people. And he did it immediately. Hear me when I tell y'all, when I got my mind regulated on Monday, I got a message Monday night. that said, are you available for an interview? Immediately when I got my mind situated, see, I've been denied. Some people have promised me some stuff. They ain't came through with the promises yet. But God said, I didn't tell you to focus on them. I told you to focus on me. Just keep on doing what I told you to do. I'm going to be the one to open up the door so that my name will get the glory. I'm going to be the one that will uh, move things out the way. I, even if you think the book is already out there, you still write what I told you to write. Because there are some eyes that have not seen and some ears that have not heard. I don't care what it is the Lord told you to do. I don't care who you think is already doing it. I'm having church in my own car this morning because the Holy Ghost told me to tell some of y'all this morning that it don't matter what you think already out there. You don't think what business you think somebody already done started. Whatever it is that he told you to do, get your behind busy. Truth feels hurt. Ain't nobody going to give you nothing. Some of y'all broke right now because you won't do what he told you to do. Some of y'all counting pennies right now because your blessings are tied into your obedience. Stop looking at the fact that Burger King got a hamburger and McDonald's got a hamburger and fix your hamburger and put that hamburger somewhere because eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. <laughs> if you're expecting great things,
things. Do you hear what I'm saying? God said it don't matter who speak to you, who ignore you, who act like you ain't in the room. Baby, your spirit is going to saturate the doggone room. Everybody that lied on you. Somebody lied on you last week. That same person that lied on you. Let me tell you another thing that uh, Miss Bernadette spoke into my spirit. I'm translating. Hear what I'm telling you. And then I'm going to take my behind to my regular job in a minute. I'm going to be able to quit. Hear what I'm saying. Uh, what One thing she said was that there are people that will hear, that will take the time to listen. There are people who will be there for the struggle but won't be there for the celebration. But there are a whole bunch of people that was not there for the struggle are going to come when God elevates your name. They're going to be back. They're going to be asking you to tell them something, to help them with something. I'm telling you, they're going to be wanting to use the platform. This is what that lady told me. She said, don't you be mean to them. Don't you be mean to them. And don't you tell them no that way. That's what she told me. Don't you tell them no that way. Don't you, don't you cut up. Don't you be ugly. Because you, you know you know what they did. She said, I'm not talking about forgetting what they did. She said, but be wise in your, in your uh, words. Be wise in your return, your response to them. Be wise in your answer. I ain't going to even tell y'all what she told me to tell the people. I ain't going to even tell y'all what she told me to tell the people. Again, I asked her, would she do a True Feels Her interview with me? She said she would. She didn't just say that. Like I said, she gave me her phone. She told me to type my number into her phone. Then I gave her the phone back. She said, did you put your name in? I mean, with like her attitude. I gave, look, I gave her the phone back after I put my name in there. I told her what the Holy Ghost told me to do. I'm going to do it. I'm going to tag her. I'm going to do what it is that I'm supposed to be doing. I'm going to, uh, listen, y'all go buy her book. Hear what I'm saying? Because what I'm trying to tell you is that it does not matter when you sow into a woman or a man of God, when you sow into somebody that is feeding into your spirit, I don't care if it's $5, you can expect a return on it. Do you hear me? A lady told me the other day to send my cash out. I said, no, you don't owe me nothing. She said, no, 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 honey. I am getting ready to pour into your spirit. I'm getting ready to bless you because, honey, when I wake up in the morning and I find, look, she said, sometimes I have to find you. But when I find you, you speak to my spirit. You pour into me. And, girl, I get up out that bed with purpose. So give me your cash out. I sat there for a minute because nobody had ever asked me that. I sat there for a minute, and that's why I said I'm dealing with princes, because you don't never you don't you don't know how to receive nothing when you the always the giver. You don't know how to take nothing. You don't understand why folks blessing you and stuff. And when they do do it, you see you 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 don't understand. So listen, I'm going on to work. Y'all have a blessed day. I pray that this word has spoke something to your spirit to make you get back on your assignment. I pray that today you will walk into your anointing, walk into your gift, be an angel to somebody. I pray that you will even sow seeds. I'm I'm telling you, even if it's a dollar. I have asked God, anybody that pours into my life, that gives to me to help me with my mission and what I'm doing, anybody that's doing that, Lord, I ask that you return back to them these blessings 10 times. And he's already started doing it. Somebody bought me some, my, my Tori bought me some hair and I prayed and asked God and I want her to tell me what God did, did or what he's going to do if he hasn't already done it because he showed me something because she thought about me when she went home. She thought about me. And so I, listen, I asked the Lord to return anybody that buys me anything. I don't care if it's a coffee. Give back to them because they're sowing into my life. Lord, I'm asking that you return back to them, but not just on regular. Hear me? I'm getting ready to see some things I never seen. I went yesterday for a new interview. <laughs> getting ready for a round table. <laughs> yeah, y'all get ready. <laughs>